Hey guys, in this video we are going to uh, differentiate between Lagrangian Euler method and Newton Euler method. So we will be uh, abbreviating Lagrangian Euler method as LE and Newton Euler method as N. So the first difference between them is that LE has very high computational time. That is the time taken in order to solve the matrices is very high because it involves large multiplication matrices. That is 4 cross 4 matrices are multiplied which takes up a lot of time. Here the computational time is greatly reduced. It is greatly reduced because there is a reason behind it. The computational time that is this is directly proportional to the number of joints and not to the orientation of the robot arm. So we can say that the computational time of the any method is much faster and the computational time of uh, LE method uh, is much higher because it uses 4 cross 4 multiplication matrices. Now the second difference, the second difference is that the early method can be used for fast, cannot be used for fast manipulators. That is, it cannot be be used for fast manipulators because the computational time is very slow. <coughs> Whether because the computational time is very fast. Now in this, the it can be it can be used for fast manipulators. Now the third difference is that third difference is that the use of equations to compute the joint torques from the given joint positions, that is the velocity, is not possible in real time. That is, we cannot. calculate the velocity, the torque or the forces in real time. Whereas in any method, we can do real time computation. It is used for simulations. That is, it cannot be used for real time. It is used for already simulated simulated manipulator data or and it can be used for real-time manipulator data that is it is used for already simulated part this is because the computational time of this is very huge as compared to any here the here the uh, calculation is very fast as compared to the lagrange euler method so now the fourth dif difference is that in le method we have two forces that is first one is the Coriolis force Coriolis force and the second one is the centrifugal force the Coriolis force is the force between the gears that takes place between two gears suppose we have two gears that is I'll draw it again we have two gears and we have another gear so the friction or the space between these two uh, these two gears causes wear and tear due to which this force is produced so this force causes the wear and tear between the gears which uh, eventually disrupts or damages our robot now secondly in the whereas in any these two forces are not present so these are our four differences and i'll again explain one more part one more thing that the le can be used for fast manipulators cannot be used for my fast manipulator sorry cannot be used for 
fast manipulators it can be used that is any can be used so let us create a chart that is let us create a flow chart for both of these in order to remember them uh, easily that is first of all you will write things for le high computational time used for slow manipulators and has two forces coriolis and centrifugal force this causes wear and tear this causes wear and tear and this involves you this involves large multiplication between four cross four matrices so these are the points for le and for any let me change the color for any we have fast computation and the computational time is directly proportional to the number of joints and not the orientation keep in mind that this is not proportional to the orientation of the robot arm that is why we have fast computation and over here it can be used for fast manipulators and then we have it can be used it can be used for real time computation and we missed one point over here it cannot be used used for real time computation whereas any can be used and in any we do not have the two forces that is coriolis and centrifugal forces are not present so how many differences did we get that we get 1 2 3 4 5 5 five differences for le method and for for any that is they are just the opposite of each other but the only common thing between them is that both of them are used to find the torques and they are also used to find the forces they are also used to find the forces so both of them are different sorry forces so both of them are uh, different in their working but both of them are used to find the same things So this is all for this video. I hope you were able to understand the differences between any and any method. Just write these uh, differences in your notebook, and you will be able to remember them carefully. And if you are unable to remember them from the table, just draw this flow chart like this, and you will be able to easily remember these. Now, if you were able to understand these differences, write wow in the comment section, and it would be great to know that you were able to understand it. So this is it for this video. See you in the next one.